Your girl messy maya and i am back again with another video so today we are going to be getting into some mess between anna mac and zeus baby girl she is tired girl if you know you know if you don't baby you are about to find out like right now so let's go ahead and get into it like comment and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time i post a new video because girl it's messy maya it's the messy ma we are lit over here trust and believe that and yeah let's go ahead and get into the mess Ciao. So in the last episode, when Sukihana clocked on a Max T and told her, baby, you need to go home. You need to go home because I feel like you talk, you, 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 baby, you talk a whole lot of ish and you don't back it up. You don't back it up. And I feel like you need to get up out the house because of that. Baby, she clocked her tea. And then Anamak turned around, tried to prove herself to Sukihana. <laughs> by randomly trying to start with smiley and literally has smiley laughing at her like girl i know you were embarrassed watching that back but that's neither here or there so like i said baby she got her tea clogged by suki hana and you know it, 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 the, the way it came off the final edit it made her look a little what's the word like you 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 uh, uh she, she 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 girl she sat there in your face and told you to go home <laughs> see because me personally it's baby it's either you're gonna get me up out this house or you could go ahead and sit sit on down and be quiet because me personally a hoe who was never in the house to begin with okay because let's really keep it a bean suki how to pop out anytime she want to come baby she come whenever she want to come a hoe that is not even in the house with me or, 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 or like literally like girl, bye. I'm on the show more than you. You can't tell me anything. So like I said, let me finish my sentence. A girl who is barely on the show can never just come in my face and tell me that I need to go home. No, you go home. Better yet. Yeah. 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 You go home. What are you talking about? I need to go home. Girl, send me home send me home that's what i'm saying like y'all girls don't play enough y'all don't apply enough pressure for me because baby that pool would have been in that bed if it was bgc by now it would have y'all not built like the bgc girls but that is besides the point child oh my adhd is kicking in child y'all know how i get off topic girl but that is besides the point child why y'all let me get off topic like this girl so my thing is is the way the final edit made on a mac look is a a punk because you let a girl come to the dinner table, who a girl who's barely in the house, by the way. You let her come to the dinner table and tell you why you should go home. And why she felt like you should go home. And you did nothing. You sat there with you know with your hand on your chin and you listened like a little bit like a little girl you know what I'm saying? Getting spoken to by her mother. So she she mothered you pretty much or sunned you, whatever you want to say. Girl, she she sunned you, told you that you should, you know, pack your bags and go home because this, that, and the third, and you didn't do anything. At least that's how the final cut looked, okay? Then, you, you what? Like, you, you went outside and, and took out your anger on Smiley? Like, <laughs> so that's what it looked like. So, you know, the girls were in the comments, baby. One thing about it, two things for sure. These, these, the girl, these girls are going to let the comments and the fans get to them, child. So soon after that, she went to the internet and was like, baby, baby. They did not show that whole scene. They did not show that whole scene. And she basically spoke on what was said in that scene. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, child. So she said, Zeus is funny as hell. Edited the whole table scene because I definitely got up and cursed Scotty out. <laughs> Girl, bye. Anyway, so she said, told her I beat her ass and told Suki, I'm not going home. Camila Sky and Tessiki was talking to Suki saying, I beat up Scotty and DJ Sky. But... 
All that was cut out. L-M-A-O. So all this ish is funny. And if I'm lying, call my bluff. I got receipts. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Like, that's really all I got to say. Because all y'all girls always talk about having receipts. And I always clock y'all tease every single time y'all do this. Baby, if you got receipts and somebody is painting you to look a certain way and you don't like it and you have receipts to back it up be about it don't talk about it like what do you mean girl if you got the receipts post the receipts like what do you mean you you went on live and you talked about it anyway and you still have yet to to, to give any type of receipts of what baby listen girl don't talk about it be about it because me personally baby if i was really feeling that like if i was feeling that strongly about something because somebody was trying to paint a picture of me that i did not like knowing good and well that something else completely different went down Girl, bye. Oh, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm baby, receipts galore. <laughs> receipts galore, baby. I'm putting out the receipts. What do you mean? Girl, put out the receipts. But you still didn't do that yet, baby. You went live to talk about it. Why you had that energy with Suki? I did. Like, if I, I'm going to add Suki to my live. Because me and Suki, I said, said Suki, who's going home? Who, you, you, are you sending me home, Sukiana? No, you're not, sister. You're not sending me home. That's why I'm upset. Because y'all already know my mouth. Like, when do I ever shut the f*** up? Like, when do I ever shut the f*** up? Like, when Suki pointed at me, I said, you don't even know what time it is. I was like, everybody on that other side of the table know I beat their friends the f*** up. So nobody's going to say, I yeah, go home. I, I beat every bitch in your house up, girl. <laughs> I beat both them girls up. So I was really confused. But, you know... I know Scotty Happy it worked out in her favor that they edited that scene like that. I'm like, girl, what did I do? You said I was popping on that shit. I beat your fucking just like I said I was gonna do. So why is this even still? Why are we still talking about this? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just know I haven't talked about nobody but Big Back Mountain, the tree that I fought, and DJ Scott, and everybody just it's me. I'm the problem apparently. I don't know. No, because you know you're mostly. I'm but that's not an issue. Me. That's not it's an issue. Though, though. Hi. Because you don't be saying nothing that nobody else don't be saying. Like, Hi. But I can call BS all I want. But child, there has to be some type of truth to it. Because she got Zeus so pressed that Zeus got her account taken down. So yeah, they definitely had her um her main account taken down, child. They was not playing with her. They said, baby, you are, you know what I'm saying, putting out um, behind the scenes tea. You know what I'm saying? We try to cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Edit you in a certain manner and you spilling the tea, child. You know what I'm saying? Girl, they done took down her main page. So she is off her back up page for the meantime girl so yeah they definitely low-key but high-key have been trying to silence the girl she is not with it okay y'all i promise i am not trying to sound mean but it's like on a mad girl we really don't give a damn like girl look <laughs> Like, we don't care, girl. Save it for a hoe that gives a damn, girl. Because I just don't care. Like, girl, this is my thing. And I feel like she contradicts herself a lot and doesn't even realize it. Like, baby, let's, let's take a trip down memory lane, okay? So, when E.T. went online, right? And she basically, you know, did what she was doing, playing a little victim, came online, crying wolf. You know what I'm saying? You, you turned around and said, like, you, you called BS, when she when she said the same story that you said that they were editing her in a certain way on purpose and this is my thing too because i am so tired of anna mac and her little friends in house b letting her run around with this narrative <laughs> that she is just oh so tough you know what i'm saying oh so tough oh she's staying on business with everybody baby you stood on business with the girls that you knew that you could get in there with. You know what I'm saying? You stood on business with the girls that you knew was going to get done up. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, we all know Scotty can't. We all know Scotty can't get down. We all know good and well DJ Scott can't get down. Okay? Not to take that away from you because, like I always say, you did stand on business. But you're picky, choosy. Let's not forget. <laughs> like, why does nobody want to talk about this? Nobody really talks about this, baby. When she was on live, okay, with her homegirl talking about the scene or whatever, what happened behind the scenes, she didn't necessarily say that she checked Suki. She was just letting Suki know, basically explaining herself. Letting Suki know that, you know, I have stood on business with this person, this person. I have, you know what I'm saying, girl, I've been mopping the girl since I've been 
in here, baby, <laughs> in your house, okay? But it wasn't necessarily a check. It's just her letting her know, like, girl, you know, I don't know who's been telling you that, but I've definitely been doing my thing. Okay, cool. But, like, you're picky choosy because if Scotty, <laughs> baby, if Scotty or or anybody, if Scotty, if um uh, DJ Sky, you know what I'm saying? If they came up to you and told you that they want you to go home, they feel like you should go home, they feel like you need to get up out of the house, girl, you would have been on them like white on rice. But with Suki, what? But Suki Hana, you're, girl, bye. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's not even like that's the first instance. Like, girl, you're just picky choosy. I'm not even going to lie. Like, are we not even going to, like, everybody just keeps skipping past the fact that Tessiki had you shivering on that bus. And then a lot of y'all, like, y'all automatic fans that like to stick up her, y'all be like, oh, well, Krishan was pregnant. She was pregnant. It, girl, who, girl. So? What does that mean? Her sister not pregnant. Natalie tried to say the same exact thing when um she got into it with Tessiki and Krishan. The only thing that she kept saying was, Krishan is pregnant. I, 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 she's pregnant. Da, 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 she's pregnant, baby. No, ma'am, no him, no turkey. Her sister is not pregnant, okay? Her sister is not pregnant. And when you got confronted on that bus about calling that girl slow, okay, even though she is slow, I mean, you weren't lying, but it's like you did not stand on business. You tried to disguise it as a joke. You said that you were joking. <laughs> you said that you, did, you didn't mean to call her slow in that way. Girl, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean you didn't mean it that way? You you flat out said that she was slow. <laughs> and if you know that she... And then my thing is this, right? She knew that Krishan already felt iffy about her from the auditions because she's friends with Kuzo, okay? And she let Kuzo in back in the auditions after Kuzo got kicked out by Krishan. So this is my thing, right? So if you knew she already felt a type of way about you because of that... Literally, because of that, she already felt some type of way about you. And you know she don't play with you like that. Why would you go online and call her slow? And then when she confronts you in person, you're like shivering on the bus and you have nothing to say. You're real quiet. Baby, if we're really going to be honest, you were just as quiet as well Vicky was. You are just as quiet. Baby, when I say nasty, I'm like, baby, where's all the back? Because baby, uh... One episode ago, two episodes ago, oh, baby, she had so much to say when she was getting into it with Scotty. <laughs> and I was here for it, okay? Don't get me wrong, baby, because she was reading Scotty down that episode. But I'm like, okay, so where, 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 where is this? Where's on a Mac? Where is on a Mac? You're, you're picky choosy. This girl is literally in your face telling you what she going to do to you because what you said online and you're not saying anything. And then I don't want to hear the pregnant, pregnant, this, that, third, baby. I don't want to hear that because her sister also pressed you and checked you. What are you saying? Her sister, Tessiki, said to their face, to, to Krishan talking about, well, Vicky and um, Anna Mac, baby, I will do them in at the same time. They're not appetizing. Literally. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you did nothing. She checked you. You did nothing. You know what I'm saying? She confronted you. You did nothing. Girl, you didn't even have the same energy, girl. Like, come on. Like, what are you saying? Like, everybody just act like automatic stand on business. No, she don't. She stand on business with the girls that she know she can mock. Let's really get into it. And the only reason why she's finally standing on business with the quote unquote heavy hitters of the house, E.T., Roly, you know what I'm saying? She, she, talk, baby, everybody. It's because she know that she got heavy hitters on her side too. That's the only reason why. Let's really get into it. That's really, that's why she's been entertaining E.T. She's been entertaining. Girl, bye. You admitted it on the live one time that you were scared of E.T. when she came into the house. I'm not scared of her anymore. I'm not scared of her anymore. That's literally what she said on the live with Tessiki and Biggie, right? So, girl, like, come on, like, I don't know. She's just not fooling me. Like, she can fool y'all all day. Y'all talking about something this girl stand on business. I just don't see it, girl. Like I said, a whole girl who don't even really stay in the house like that, she come onto the show anytime she please, told you to your face that she feels like you should go home. You you did not, because we all know if it was Smiley, Scotty, or anybody else that you deem weaker than you, or you feel like you can, be, girl, that you feel like you can do in, girl, you, girl, you would have let them have it, girl. We all know your mouth by now. You know what I'm saying? Girl, bye. Ciao.
right, y'all. So that is all I have for y'all today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video, baby. Because, girl, we are lit over here, like I said before, girl. And it's the New Year's. Girl, listen, girl. The, your girl is coming back to back with the commentary, baby, with the with the videos, with the uploads. Y'all already know what's going on. I am super consistent. So you might as well just stick around and subscribe, baby. Anyways, it's Messy Maya. Bye.